my beloved sons and daughters, my brothers and sisters, those whom I indwell. I wish to speak to you. You have many questions about the time that you are in. Many of you are growing impatient for my return and you are losing hope in me. Please do not. You are so close to the end of this age would you give up the rest when the finish line is in sight? I tell you, stop running so hard in your own strength. Ask of me, and I will give you divine strength. You will not finish the rest in your own strength. What I am about to do in this earth will astound you and boggle the minds of men. The fire of judgment is coming. It is not delayed, it is right on time, my time. The destroyer is very, very close now, and my angels of judgment await my command. Revival is not coming. I am destroying this current system of religion that calls itself by my name, and I will start anew. It will be a new reformation but this time, my people will be like those in the book of Acts, and even more power will they have, for these are the final days, the former and the latter reign. My spirit will be upon my anointed ones without measure. They will walk with higher authority and more power on this earth than I did when I walked here. They will tread on the serpents and scorpions and smash the kingdom of the enemy to the ground. They will go into the world with the power and demonstration of my spirit. They will heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out demons, multiply food, translate from one place to another and perform miracles never before seen. The work that will be accomplished by my mighty manifest sons and daughters will be miraculous. The harvest that will take place in months is more bountiful than the harvest that has taken place over the last 100 years. It is so glorious, you cannot imagine it now, but I see it. Not by might, not by power of men, but by my spirit, says the Lord. No organization of men can do what I will do. But my beloved, there will be a cleansing by fire. Fire purifies and divorce the chaff and the stubble. All that is not built on the solid rock will be shaken and destroyed. I will protect my own, for they have much work to do. It will be through many tribulations and hardships that you must enter my kingdom. You will suffer the wrath of men and the enemy, and you will overcome. It will be by my blood and the word of your testimony, and you will not be afraid of the death of this life. My love and peace will be with you, and I will never leave you. Trust in, cling to, and rely on me, for I am the good shepherd, and I will not lose any of my sheep. Those who are wolves dressed as sheep will be exposed and then burned by my consuming fire. Do not fear, my beloved, for my wrath is not appointed unto you. You will see me coming in the clouds in all my glory. You will see the salvation of your God and watch your enemies flee. They will not escape. There is nowhere they can run or hide that I cannot find them. They are the seed that the enemy has sown, the tears among my wheat. They will be gathered and burnt in the everlasting fire, along with their father and all of the ones that he deceived. The time of the great deception and great falling away are here. 
Do not believe the lies that they tell you, for I am your creator and I created them. I speak of the fallen angels. They will tell the world that they have come to help and they will deceive many. They come from the far reaches of the heavens and from under the earth. They will offer false peace and many will receive their mark because they will overtake the rulers of this world. Their system will be in place for a short time before I return with billions of my saints and angels and destroy them. They will amaze many with their powers, but remember, they do not confess me as their Lord. In the end, all will bow and confess that I, Jesus Christ, am Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen.